For this stem bite, we're gonna look at how musical toys work. This is one of my favorites because you can hit it with the stick, but you can also push the buttons to make noise. Now it's immediately apparent that the length of these metal pieces must be what's causing it to make different notes. What's less apparent is that when you strike one of these plates, what you're really doing is creating a wave. That wave will oscillate at the natural frequency or the resonant frequency of the individual plate. And here's what's really cool. As the length of the plate changes, the natural frequency changes as well. So the orange guy likes to vibrate at that note, where the green guy likes to vibrate at that note. You can notice the same thing with other kinds of objects as well. The size of an object impacts the frequency it resonates at. So this smaller lid, resonates at a higher frequency, this bigger lid at a lower frequency. This even extends beyond metal objects. So here's a plastic straw. And if I blow into the end of it, you can kind of hear a sound. If I were to change the length of this straw as I blow into it, I'd actually change the frequency of sound it makes. So you see this idea of waves and resonance and sound is not just true of metal objects, even the air inside this straw follows the same physics.